Hello, I'm Ana Sevilla and with this presentation I intend to give you instructions about a project for the creation of a digital story. This project concerns digital storytelling for languages learning in a technical scientific context. To do this project and create your own digital story you should work in groups of four to five people and you will have to complete four assignments. The first one is your eight minute long digital story about a specific topic. Every member of the group should narrate part of the story. The second assignment will be your day by day log in which you will write about the steps you followed when creating your story, the software used and why you chose it, and the media used and why. You will also include the difficulties encountered and how you solved them and the contributions of each of the members of your group to the project. You will also document the group meetings, the decisions made by the group and other relevant documents or pieces of information about the process of creating your digital story that you think are relevant. The third assignment will be your 10 minute long presentation, oral presentation of the making of process and the log. In this presentation, which we oral in front of the class, you will explain the steps you followed when creating your story, the most relevant information and materials you included in your log. Then you will use the forum, this will be the for assignment, and in the forum you will have to share your stories by means of a link, you will have to watch other stories, at least four other stories, and to comment on them or ask questions. You will also have to reply to your mates' comments and questions. Remember that you have to use materials documenting the whole process, so it is important that as, as you are creating your story, you start taking pictures, uh, recording the, your voice, even with bloopers and outtakes, uh, that you have a log ready, reporting all the, the things you have, that you've done in the process, etc. Every member of the group should present for at least two minutes and briefly introduce himself or herself and the following speaker. And you always have to include an introduction and a conclusion in your presentation. Before getting started, it is useful to read about basic things you should know about digital storytelling on the internet. And you can also watch some examples of digital stories. We have two of them here and two more. Uh, you will also be asked to complete a pre-survey and a final survey. Make sure that you answer all the questions in the surveys before you start to create your digital story and then after you finish the whole project. And here's a link about, uh, in which you can find an example of a survey. Here's a summary of the steps you need to follow. First, prepare your script. This is the basic thing, the basis of your digital story. And in order to create your script, you might try using Google Docs to create it in order to be, be able to edit it uh, at the same time to collaborate, but you can also use other word processing program. You can also start looking for some appropriate images, videos and music, and you can even create them yourselves. Then you are advised to watch some, some other examples of digital stories to get some ideas, and finally decide the kinds of media you would like to use. Images, videos, music, text, subtitles, voice, sound effects, wherever you like. Next, you'll have to decide the software you'd like to use, and here there are some suggestions. VoiceThread, iPad, iPod, iPhone, Smartphone, StoryRoad, Windows Movie Maker, with a tutorial including information about how to use it properly, Prezi or PowerPoint even, Aviary Tools, and many other free tools that you can find and you can take a look at these websites to find information about them. It is important to learn about things to bear in mind when creating your digital story and there, there's a list of tips that can be very useful to you. That's the link. These tips uh, have been written by Brian Salterfield. Here's a list of detailed steps. Step one, as we said, is to write your script declaratively for a five minute long digital story or an eight minute long digital story. Once you finish writing your script, you should upload the final version onto polyformat. All, only one member of the group needs to upload the script. Don't use your script for digital story until you get your teacher's feedback and corrections. Otherwise, you'll have to re-record your digital story after you get the corrections. Step two, 
as I told you before, is to decide the kinds of media that you would like to use. And you might want to take your own photos or record your own videos. You can also find them on the internet. Remember that they need to be uh, free available resources and free access open source resources. Step three is to decide the software that you're going to use, make sh making sure that you know how to use it or starting to, to learn to use it by watching video tutorials if needed. Step four is to decide how you would coordinate and synchronize the narration, the script and the media, images, video, music. You will need to decide the number of seconds that you want to show your images or video on screen when reading every passage of your script. Step five is recording your story and the, that story should include visual contents, as I told you before, as well as voice. All the members of the team should narrate about one minute of the story and you should follow the structure and tips dealt with along this presentation. Step six is to upload the final version of your digital story onto the forum in polyformat, but as I told you before, it's advisable to upload just the link and to put your story in another sharing, file sharing website such as Dropbox because uh, polyformat is more limited in, in space, so you won't be able to put the whole file, just the link to, the, to access the file and watch it online or download it. Step seven is to watch the digital stories created by your classmates once they have uploaded them or their links. Step eight has to do with the use of the forum. In the forum in polyformat, you can leave your constructive comments and opinions about the digital stories that have been uploaded. You will give even an evaluation sheet, which can I, you can either fill in or use as a guide about the kinds of comments that you could make. Step nine is to fill in the final survey, because we'd like to get your opinions about this project in order to improve it in the future. Step 10 is making sure that you have compiled enough materials to be included in your log and that you have added all the relevant information about the process of creating your digital story. Step 11 will be the presentation of your digital story. Well, actually, the making of how the, your story was made. You will present in front of the class for about five to 10 minutes and you'll be able to show your blog or log to your classmates. Well, here's the conclusion. In this presentation, you've learned how to carry out a project that has to do with digital storytelling. You have also learned about things you should bear in mind when carrying out your project. The steps to be followed have been described and finally you've been told about several tools that you could use to complete this project. That's it for now. Thank you very much.